Hi, I'm Dr. Robert Cohen. Today I'm going to talk to you about the conflicting viewpoints passages on ACT science. So these passages really stand out. They're very different from the other types of passages. They have no data, no charts, no graphs. Um, all they have are basically they have an inch, two different scientists arguing um, a different viewpoint, a different argument about a specific scientific topic. So you're given an introduction, then you're given, given scientist one's argument, and then scientist two's argument, both of which are clearly labeled and they follow one after the next. There's also usually seven questions for this type of passage as opposed to the typical five or six. So there's a really easy, uh, really easy shortcut on these passages, and that is that the scientist one and scientist two's argument are to they're present the way they're structured they are totally parallel so if paragraph one of scientist one if he says this happened because of x paragraph one scientist two his argument says this happened because of y paragraph two of each are going to talk about the same thing so each argument is presented in parallel basically. This is really handy to know when you're answering questions that ask you to compare the two passages. Um, so, you know, you just need to find where one author is talking about the relevant information, and then you can look to basically the same point in the second pass in the second scientist's argument, and that's where he should he or she should be talking about it as well. Sometimes it's, you know, not just the same paragraph, but it's even the same point in the same paragraph. So this is really handy and it's really fast. You still want to make sure that you are breaking the passage up into its uh, kind of component sections as you're answering questions. So after you read Scientist 1's argument, before looking at Scientist 2's argument, stop and look for questions based on scientist one's argument, and then answer those. Then reads passage scientist two's argument, look for those questions, and finally look for the questions that ask you to compare both. Now, on, these, on conflicting viewpoints passages, there are, are often questions about the introduction, because the introduction can be um, kind, kind of lengthy. So even as soon as you finish the intro, stop and look for questions based on the intro. Also a really good idea to, after you finish reading each scientist's viewpoint, take a, take a few seconds to jot down in just a couple of words the basic idea or argument of each scientist. This will come really in handy when it comes time to uh, compare the two viewpoints for the comparison questions. But again, when you're facing a question asking you to compare the two passages, make sure to use this parallel structure shortcut. Once you find the relevant information in one of the scientist's viewpoints, then you know where to look to find it in the second. This will save you a lot of time, and it'll help you pick up a lot of points. Thanks for watching, and if you found this video helpful, uh, please like it, uh, subscribe to the channel, or share the video, which will help me reach more people looking for this type of help. Thanks.